Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner. Welcome to Real Magic Review, and today I'm reviewing Bubble Thought by Adam Alban. But first, can you please like, subscribe, hit the little bell icon so you know you get all the notifications of when I go live, which is kind of at random times, uh, except for my new thing, which is most Thursdays at the moment, depending on where you're watching this. And check out cardmagiccourse.com. That is my online card magic course over 200 videos, for, uh, over 400 videos now, I think. It just gets bigger and bigger because I add to it every uh, month with the huge, which is going to be huge, the uh, card uh, Royal Road to Card Magic course, which I'm adding to every month, just gradually, and it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And and of course, all the moves and slides you're ever going to need and the live sessions you know, that currently happen every single week. And it's a really lovely community. So get involved, cardmagiccourse.com and learn from a pro. Right, so this is a, a, a Zoom trick, an online lockdown trick. Actually, it's not a lockdown trick because we can do this stuff not just in lockdown, can't we? And if you're watching this in the future, this is in lockdown number three in the UK, I think. Uh, but it's, it's a trick that works well on Zoom. It works with a spectator having a deck of cards. The spectator, there's two, ver well, three versions on it. The, the version on the trailer is the standard version where the spectator uh, and you, you do pick each other's card. It reminded me of a trick called Kismet, which I learned from a um, Michael Vincent DVD, which is based on a Vernon idea as well, which is amazing, where you take, you, you, they think of a card, you take a card, and you find each other's cards, and it's similar, but of course it's on Zoom, so it's all virtual. And... The, it, it bases itself on an idea that's been around for a bit now, which is uh, the video chat magic. People think it was David Britton, was it, on video chat magic? Forgive me if I'm wrong. Uh, had an idea on that, uh, which people have taken and done various versions of it uh, on Zoom. And weirdly enough, it was the, the, I did a simplified version of this thing where someone has a deck of cards with them um, and you either get them to do something you tell them what card they've cut to etc etc or you can incorporate a sort of reverse card into it or, or reveal the card in any way and I thought it was a bit kind of I don't know I didn't do it for a while because to me as a magician I looked at it and went yeah it's good but I'm never going to get away with that or it's a bit and then I showed someone I've done all my Zoom stuff in December and I, I hadn't done the card thing and I was on Zoom with a friend of mine. He's a friend that doesn't know anything about magic, but he, he likes magic and he's, he's, a, he's a, um, someone that likes watching magic. So he kind of knows what he likes with magic sort of thing. And I showed him the cups and balls on Zoom because I said, what do you think of this on Zoom? And he's like, oh, it looks really good. And then I said, oh, well, tr go and get a deck of cards. Uh, I also showed him WikiTest. Uh, which he didn't know anything, he had no idea how that was done, it completely blew him away. And then I showed him the card thing, I just wanted to try it, and it completely floored him. He said he could not believe, he couldn't get his head around it, he couldn't begin to work out how it was done. He was like, but I had the cards. And that made me realise the power of this stuff. So if you are a magician and you look at some of this, you might think, but d just go with it. So that, when I saw this was out, I was like, right, I want to have a look at that. Uh, this takes sort of that idea, and I'm not saying he's taken that idea, but then adds something to it, this idea of choosing each other's cards. And this is where it really got me. I had no idea. Uh, it, with my initial lame, what I do is I try to watch him as a lay person and not try and go, how do you do that? I just kind of let it wash over me and go it, straight, at first blush, do I kind of go, oh, I know exactly. And I thought, okay, and, and then I just went, no, that's brilliant. And it was brilliant because because I did let it wash over me and I just uh, I listened to what he was saying. It was it's all to do with scripting and timing and all this stuff comes into it and some stuff that just you just unless you sort of know your stuff, you're not gonna be able to reverse engineer at all. They um spread the cards to you, you spread the cards to them, they're thinking of a card in your pack, you're thinking of a card in their pack. And you, he does a thing of a post-it note where he goes, right, I'm going to commit to this now, the card that I say, you know, I can't change your mind. He writes on a post-it note, so I'm thinking of a card in your pack. And then there's a process, and um, you name their card, and, and they, they name your card, and you, you can see that it, it matches. So you've kind of cut to the card that you know is in their head, if you see what I mean. So that's the first version. And just listen, if, I know I'm not going to show the whole trailer here. If my garbled nonsense um, ways of describing it don't work for you, do watch the trailer after this. Watch this first. And the other version is taking the same concept but adding another presentation to it, which, can, which does almost makes it like two tricks, 
that's more of a kind of we're both thinking of the same card and then we've both cut to the same card and that's a really impressive thing as well it feels very different it's another way of doing it and there is also a simplified version on this um, if you want to just get into it and start practicing it which i don't think is quite as strong but it's still really 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 strong so there's three versions on this for 12 quid or 13 quid or whatever it is um i really like this because because I know the power of it now and it adds more to the thing that I already know, I know this stuff is strong, I know it works, and it's it's a real, there's sort of simplicity in this, I'm not, it's easy to do, Is there's no sleight of hand in this, there's no pre-show, there's no, nothing like that. There is preparation, and don't worry about it. The, I would say with the preparation you're going to need, I think it's okay to see this, to, to, to do what you, you're going to do, you're going to need extra cards. Um, that's all I'll say. So, uh, and, and they're not going to be that expensive. And I think for an effect like this, it's worth it. It's worth that investment. So you're going to need some stuff to make some stuff up. There's no real arts and crafts in it, but you're just going to put a few things together. You do get a really nice PDF that talks you through this. Um, and it's a, it's a method that I've, I've liked for a long time in a different context that I didn't think of doing in this context. Well, I did, but I couldn't see how it would work like this. And it's just a lovely routine. It gives you kind of a good few minutes of interactive Zoom ma magic. They're going to be utterly stunned. It's super strong. Um, and and I, I have no doubt that you'll be able to do it very, very quickly. Um, it's really clever as well. The way it's put together, I think, is really good. The scripting's really clever. The way certain things that could easily look out of place look in place so they don't know you're doing a certain thing. And that's not a sleight of hand thing. It's, a, it's actually a mentalism concept. So he's really thought about this. Um, it's... I was going to say it's not for everybody, but I think if you're doing Zoom magic, it is. It's the sort of thing you're going, you're going to want to do. Um, he, the download is, is almost done on Zoom, so it's not like a super, super flash download. It's done remotely, um, and so, you know, your instruction is kind of on, on one set camera. Don't worry about that. He does get Josh Jane to clarify some stuff. There's a nice bit at the end where he walks through it. So he, he does the performances, two actual performances on Zoom. Um, he did, which, it, which is great, and I think, I got the impression that the first performance was with a layperson, and the second was with a magician. I, I, I'm not sure. Um, but that was really nice to watch. And then he has the explanation. Uh, some bits weren't totally, totally clear and then they were, so that was fine. And then he goes through with Josh, demonstrates it again, but with a walkthrough. So he stops and goes, I'm doing this because of this. And that was really, really useful. And Josh asks him questions around that as well. So I think it's really good. It's really worth getting. Um, it's easy. The only downside is you're going to have to prep a bit and you have to get some extra cards involved. Um, but I think you, you, you're not going to want to worry about that. But just be aware that when you buy it and you've got one deck of cards, you're not going to be able to do it straight away. So um, that's that. So that's Bubble Thought. Um, uh, any questions, any comments, do put them below because I do this thing, comments on comments. So if you've got a genuine question, I will bring them into the comments on comments session. The live sessions, they do run quite long, so I'm happy to go through quite a lot. And that's where we can get more into depth about the concepts around these tricks. Because uh, I always do forget to mention something um, when I'm doing this. So uh, thanks very much. I don't know why I've done that, as if I'm just about to do a list of something, but I'm not. <laughs> I think it's probably in my head I'm going, remember to say this, remember to say that. Um, have a good one. Like and subscribe. Press the bell icon, icon. Go and check out Card Magic Course. Read my blog on it. Comment on my blog because um, that's what drives the whole thing and it would be really lovely if you checked it out because I'm incredibly proud of it. Check out the testimonials. Don't just take my word from it, uh, for it because I'm very biased. Uh, and do stay safe and look after yourselves and look below to get all the links you need to check this out. Uh, take care. Thank you to Vanish and Inc. for sending me this um, and have a great one. See ya.